I'm going to show you how to do fractions on a TI-84 plus calculator. Now I have the C edition which is the silver um, color. This will work on any plus silver for the most part. It should be the same. Um, so to begin with I have a problem. 2 and 1 thirds minus negative 7 eighths. Now you could do this by hand. Find the common denominators, subtract them. It can be a little long and tedious. So instead we're going to use the calculator. Use our tools wisely. So the first thing we need to know is how to put these in. You're looking for the alpha button. It's a green button near the top under the second button. You want to push alpha and then y equals. y equals is at the very top, the very topmost button on the left, and it's going to give up four options. It has n over d, which is just a normal fraction like 7 eighths, un slash d, which is a mixed number like 2 and 1 third. Option 3 converts this and this, they can convert into a mixed in an improper fraction. And then 4 changes a decimal to a fraction or a fraction to a decimal. So our first option we need to use is 2 because that's a mixed number. So I'm going to arrow down to 2 and hit enter. And notice it's going to blink and the first thing I'm going to put in is a 2. I'm going to use the left arrow button. That's what's blinking. It's telling you to go over to the left, or sorry, the right. And type in 1 and then I can go to the right again third and then go to the right again to get out of the fraction. Then minus, now we need to type in negative 7 eighths. The negative button is at the very, very bottom. You can see it right here. Negative, that is a negative sign. It's not the same as a minus. So I'm going to type in negative and then once again I'm going to go to alpha y equals and this time I want option 1 because it's not a mixed number. So that's what I'm going to choose. I'm going to put 7 over 8. Notice I'm always going to the right to get out of it. And then when I hit enter, you'll notice it gave me the answer 77 over 24. The calculator always puts it into an improper fraction. This is a good answer. Okay, You can always put this answer. But if you want it as a mixed number, all you have to do is hit alpha y equals and then option number three will change it to a mixed number. Just hit enter on it. It'll come up answer to mixed number. Hit enter again. And you'll notice that this is the same as 3 and 5 over 24. So either of these answers are acceptable. Now if you got a decimal, you can change this to a decimal. Hit alpha y equals and go down to number four to change it to a decimal and you'll notice it does not have an exact answer. This would not be a good answer in our class. We, we're, we are wanting exact answers only. So the improper fraction would work, the mixed number would work. You cannot tell me the approximate. Okay, This would not work. This is bad. The only time we want to approximate is when we don't have a choice, like a um, square root of 7. Okay. Otherwise, we want exact, either an improper fraction or a mixed number.